What is up, you guys? It's your girl, Cleethia, and Tim back in our video. Today, I am going to be showing you the first part of this video, which is how to make tamahoon. If you don't know what that is, it is basically a covered strawberry or any fruit that you may like covered with sugar and water. It's a mixture. So, in this first clip, I am pouring one half cup of sugar in a pot, and I turn the um, stove on. My stove may be different than yours, but I started at the number either five or six. And you see me here pouring the sugar back in the tub of sugar because I wanted to make sure it was a one half and not too much. Not one half, but just half. So I poured in half a cup of sugar. And then I went behind the camera, which was where the sink was, and I got a half a cup of water. And it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot. Now right here, I was trying to figure out which utensil I wanted to use, and I picked up that spatula, but I did pause the video so I can make sure it, it was okay with my mom to use it. So, this is the strawberry part. So, um, you do not have to use strawberries. You can use any fruit that you may like. Um, but a lot of people use strawberries, so I wanted to try using strawberries because the only fruit we had in the house was bananas. And I didn't want to use bananas. So, you see me here taking out some strawberries. And I just picked out some good sizes that I liked. All right. So yes, that's when I paused it and I went and got the spatula after I asked my mom. And I'm stirring the sugar and water. Now you do have to keep an eye out on the sugar and water because you don't want it to burn and you will know if it's burnt if it's a yellowish color. Alrighty, so what I did when I went back there is I washed the strawberries and then I, well, I didn't, well I don't think I washed them just yet, I think I just put them back there, but this is me switching out a strawberry because I thought the size was better, yeah, and then on the table that is wax paper, but you need a parchment paper, the only thing I had was wax paper, but you're supposed to have parchment paper. Okay, I have five toothpicks, and you can use toothpicks or screw, skewers. Skewers. The video I watched, they said use skewers, but I didn't have those, so I just used toothpicks. And I had five because I had five strawberries, and you just use those to poke it in the strawberry. And then you will find out later on in the video why we needed the toothpicks. Okay, so this is me coming back from washing them, and now I'm, like, drying them off. Um, you do not have to take off the great, not the great part, the um, stem part, but I decided to because I didn't know how it was going to taste if I didn't. Or not even taste, just, like, if I had got the, the, the um, sugar and water mixture, mixture, mixture on it. So I just went ahead and took them all off. Alrighty. Now this is me turning down the 
sugar because I didn't want it to start burning too quick. So you do want to keep going back and mixing it and watching it because I'm telling you guys it will burn if you do not watch it. Okay, and that's just me getting in the camera so you guys can see my face. Because I didn't know if I was going to show my face or not in this video. Okay, so as you can see, the paper did get smaller. I did cut it because I didn't need the whole sheet. And then I took a small um, square of parchment paper because I've seen this on the video. Um, but turns out I really didn't need to do it because it was turning out right for me. But you were supposed to just take the toothpick and put it in the sugar and put on parchment paper and freeze it so when you take it out and crunch it it's it's the right um I guess what do you call it uh it's the right it's what you're supposed to do but you don't have to so now I am going ahead and putting the toothpicks in the strawberries um I would have been told you that, guys that but I was trying to explain um the other part but yeah you do not have to put some of the sugar on the parchment paper just to try it out okay so I think I moved it on the other iron and yes I think I did Okay guys, so now, oh, now I'm moving it to the other iron, and I'm turning off the um stove. So I moved it because um it was done boiling, and you will see it once it starts looking thicker that it's done. And what I did was took one of the strawberries, and this is where the toothpick comes in handy. You take it and you put it in the pot, and you like turn it and twist it in the sugar because it's like thick, and the toothpick just helps so you don't burn yourself. And I found that that was the funnest part to me, other than tasting it, which you guys will see me taste it at the end of this video, and it was really good. This is a really fun, simple, and easy dessert. Um, I would definitely do this again if I ever had friends come over. One of the strawberries I was struggling with because it was a little, it was like bigger and the toothpick was like coming out of it. I think, it, yeah, it was that one. In total, I made five and I gave my mom two and I ate three. Because they didn't really know what it was until I told them I wanted to make it. Oh wait, no, it was that one. Yeah, it was that one. You see the two pickets in, in it? That was the one that I messed up on. And then this is me e eating the sugar off the um, spatula. And here I am showing you it in the freezer. You're supposed to put it in the freezer so that the um, sugar can like harden. And then this is me cleaning out the pot. So it is sugar, so it is going to stick to the pot. And so... You want to clean out the pot so you, your mom or whoever it is doesn't get mad at you. So I actually looked up a video. And all you have to do is put water and soap in the pot with the sugar in there that's hardened. And then you boil it and you just mix and dig up the candy. Well, sugar that's in the pot. So it can like get softer and you can just take it out. I did get a um, paper towel so I could just put the stuck sugar that was on the spoon on the napkin and I was able to get most of it off and that's when I was fidgeting with the rim part because it had got in the rim a little bit when I was like um I was taking the spatula and I was like 
you know, how you put it on the rim to get the excess off the spatula. That's what I was doing. So that's what that is right there. But other than that, the inside of the bowl is good. All right, guys, this is so on to the eating part. And today I'm looking at our video. Um, so you guys got to see the making of me making this. And um, it's going to be a voiceover. That's why I was quiet. But this is the ASMR part of the video. Um, I made these by myself, and my mom tried one, and she said they were good, and I'm not going to eat all these, so I'm going to give her this one, because um, this one has more candy on it than the one I gave her, um, so I'm going to go give this one to her, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, let's taste it. Don't mind my hair. I'm on spring break. All right. This is really good. Hopefully you guys can hear the sound. I don't have a mic. Keep forgetting to take off the toothpick. So I've seen ASMR people make make these and eat them, but the way they made it looked is so much more complicated. Um, Sass ASMR she makes these with the different fruits also, and I was scrolling on music TikTok today. And this girl made it, and it was really easy. So I got some strawberries, and I made some. And if you scroll down on my liked um, videos um, on TikTok, then you will see it. Which is so good and simple to make. You only need three things. Um... Like I said, you see me make it, so. But if you're not up to the age to cook yet, you should ask for help. Ooh, a little sour and sweet. Tell me in the comments, rate these 1 through 10. This is what Sass ASMR does. She'll um, give you guys the first bite, but I was so eager, I wanted to taste it, but you guys can bite it. Mm. I did really good. And there's more strawberries in the fridge so we can make more. We always have sugar and water. So, that's good. Mm. Comment down below what you did on Easter also. So, I'm actually going to save this one for after the video. And, sorry, 
I'm about to wash my hands. But yeah, guys, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if this tutorial was helpful for you guys, and very simple and easy, um, comment that down below. And if you ever had these, um, tell me how they work for you in the comments. Um, but yeah, guys, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below with video suggestions and the things I would like for you to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!